Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, we're going to work on two step equations that contain fractions. And we're going to work on three different types that you will encounter. In this particular example, we have x on top of the fraction. This example, we have the entire fraction multiplied by x. And then down here, we have x on the bottom of the fraction. And we will work on solving these three types. So let's get started. Okay, in this example, notice that we have the x on top of the fraction. So we need to isolate the x. So the first thing we can do is we can move this 7 to the other side by subtracting 7 from each side. When we do this, a positive and negative 7 cancel, and we bring down x over 5 equals 12 minus 7 is 5. Okay, so we're getting closer. Now we need to isolate the x. Well, basically this fraction is saying we're going to do x divided by 5. So the inverse operation is multiplication. So we can multiply it by 5 over 1, and we'll do this to both sides. I'm going to go ahead and place this 5 over 1, so you can see we're multiplying two fractions. When we do this, the two fives cancel, and that gives us x equals 5 times 5 is 25. And technically, you would place it over 1, which equals x is equal to 25. So there's our solution. Now, in this particular example, we have a fraction multiplied by x. Again, we want to isolate the x, so let's begin with step one. Let's add six to each side, okay, because a negative, oops, that's a messy six, because a negative and a positive six will cancel, cancel, and what we do to one side, we need to do to the other, so here we go. The sixes cancel each other out. Let's bring down the three-fourths x equals and 9 plus 6 is 15. So, now, what do we do with this fraction? Well, basically, it's saying it's 3 fourths times x. So, we need to complete the inverse operation. So, we need to divide through by 3 fourths. We're just going to divide because the opposite operation of multiplication is division. So, let's divide through by 3 fourths. And I'm going to go ahead and write this 15 over 1 so we see that we have two fractions. Well, remember, when you divide, an easy process is keep, change, flip. So let's go ahead and write what we have originally. We're going to change the division to multiplication. And then we're going to, re we're going to flip this fraction and basically create the reciprocal. Okay? So here we go, and let's do the same to the other side. We're going to change this to multiplication, and we're going to flip this fraction. So basically what you're doing is you're multiplying it by its reciprocal, okay? These, the fours cancels, the three cancel, and um, it leaves us with x on this side, and then 15 times 4, so 15 times 4 is 60, and 3 times 1 is 3, 60 divided by 3 is 20, so x equals 20. There we go. Okay, in this example problem, we have x on the bottom. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do, remember we want to get x by itself. So we can move this 2 to the other side by adding 2 to both sides. Okay? When we do that, a positive and a negative 2, they cancel, so that gives us 10x equals 8 plus 2, which is 10. Now, how do we get this x by itself? Well, remember, with a fraction, 
you have division. So you you have 10 divided by x. So why don't we just multiply each side by x, okay? And we will do the same here. Let's go ahead and write 10 over 1 so we can kind of see that we're multiplying this fraction. When we do this, notice that the x's cancel and we have a 10. And then 10 times x is 10x. Okay, so now all we need to do is we have multiplication. We have 10 times x. So let's now divide both sides by 10. And when we do this, these cancel and we were left with x equals 1. So there we go. There's the solution to that problem.